Hey guys, welcome back to LA Noir. So we're about to get promoted into the homicide division, which is gonna be absolutely incredible. It's gonna be insane cases, I'm pretty sure. And um, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm super excited and uh, thank you for watching. This is gonna be the last episode, I believe, on the traffic division. So I hope you enjoy. And as always, if you want more LA, all you guys gotta do is let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, the fallen idol. There we go. Oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A oh, Chevy snap, it did. Took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All right. Well, a little twist. new clues. She Victims drugged and Chevy Styline. See you later, fellas. Investigate the Try crash site. Too hard. Look at you, bantering with your feelings. It's a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar kill. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in. So. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to it. Here we go. Let's try and pass with at least an 80%. By the way, I'm going to be doing more fast traveling when it comes to the driving and stuff, because I've heard from you guys in the comments that when you fast travel, the game won't skip onto the uh, onto the you know, until some important dialogue is said. So if there is important dialogue, the game will not skip it. You'll have the character speak about it, and then after they're done, it's when it skips to the destination. Or at least that's what I read from you. Let's up through here then. Yep. Almost crashed. Stop Gotta be careful ahead. now. There we go. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Hmm. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Oh. Is anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Really? Be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. So she's a mean SOB, huh? Uh, okay, let's see how we can go the down there. He's down by the crash site. I should be down through here. Whoop. Don't mind if I do. Got them hops, boys. That police academy uh, <laughs> came into good use. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Really? Oh. Panties from the from the kid? Oh, this is disturbing. They've been torn off. Four century? Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Okay, we need to find out more information about this kid. What the hell is this? 1229 Milwaukee. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He is not, uh, he has a hot temper and can be very proud, but he still says you're his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl. She's a long way from home. And, you, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself, so the girl's 15. I wanted to be just like Clara Bow 
and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and I married your father, I realized I would have never been happy in that life. But realized it one day. So, what type of crappy mother is that? Just literally flat out telling your, your kid, you're, you're just not going to be successful, okay? Just come home and just live a regular ass life. No, damn it. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Interesting. Anything here on the driver's side? Nope. This guy's taking notes, though. So we can speak to him? Yeah. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Interesting. <clears throat> What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. That's interesting. Find so this is interesting. <clears throat> this is the prop that was pretty much used to accelerate uh, accelerate the vehicle Somebody over the ledge. Tip their ride straight off a cliff. Over the ledge, over the edge. If the driver's in a fit state. We should ask. The thing is, what was the driver doing that she just let the guy do that? Or the person, or whatever, was she either that badly, into badly intoxicated that she couldn't handle it, or was she knocked out, or I don't know. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> June Ballard, blue eyes, black hair, 41 year old female, B movie actress, and driver of Crash Chevy Styline. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Hmm. The injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Wait, the panties. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, sunshine. Do you have any proof? The underwear. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Oh. Oh. We found a shrunken head that was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. I don't know. She's blinking. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. 
In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? So this is definitely all leading to Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. It's not going to play that way, Mr. McCaffrey. Oh, we'll I think I should have. <laughs> Relax, detective. I should have gone back, cop. He's cute when you're mad. Yeah, I should have gone back, Mrs. cop. Mr. <sighs> I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Interview Jessica Hamilton. Where is Jessica Hamilton? The Central Receiving Hospital. Alright. This is going to be interesting. Alright, let's try out the fast travel. See what happens. Okay, never mind. I was supposed to hold it a little bit longer. Hospital Central attached. You know what? We're going to go over there. Take this right. 11K Roger. En route. Uh, we'll just drive there. Not a big deal. Down through here. Way. Woo! Not here. That's for sure. Left here. Nice. Turn left up ahead. We're going to make a left and go straight and then make a left at the end. Take the next left. Okay. Well, he said right earlier, so. Go! Oh! Oh! Go, gay. We need to take the next left. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> We're driving a little crazy. All right. Oh, she's right here. Oh, Central Receiving Hospital is literally right next to us. All right. Hmm. This is going to be fun. Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. Why, thank you. You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Do oh. you know who I am? <laughs> she's, they brought her here, then. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. All right, let's let's get some clues going here. Let's see what we got. I don't think this is going to help us. I'm going to investigate every little piece of evidence here that I can. Nothing significant. Okay, this is all hospital stuff. Okay. Oh. What is that? A broken clavicle? What do we got here? Mystic Tales. Seems irrelevant. Yes, it does indeed. No, 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 no. I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know if I won't. Do we have to speak to her right away? Oh. Here we go. Jessica Hamilton, age 15. Dr. Elias Webley. Evidence of abuse. Head trauma and soft tissue damage sustained in car accident. Residual you make me uncomfortable. Residual Just standing around here looking at me and not saying anything. Residual traces of chlorohydrate in bloodstream. External bruising to genitals and other evidence of criminal abuse. The SAO2 is the amount of oxygen that you have. Uh ninety eight percent, that's good. Pulse seems to be Okay. BP, BP, color, 
notes traces of chlorohydrate in bloodstream recently administered do not administer further sedatives without express permission patient to be held for bed rest and observation the pain score sleep pain mild moderate pain through actually she doesn't have any pain score yet i don't or okay i think we're done with the clues be quiet jessica hello jessica uh, my name is cole phelps I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. 15, blue. Pretty little girl, honestly. Uh, passenger and crashed Chevy Styline. Crash incident report. All right, Jessica, let's help you out here. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. She's lying. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. Maybe I should have been a good cop. She, she was clearly dying. Nothing happened yesterday. No, something did happen yesterday. Maybe, maybe because she's a minor, I'm supposed to treat her differently? Contact with parents. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. No. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Well, we've got a letter from your purse, Jessica. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Holy cow, association with Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Okay. Yeah, but what, what is... Okay, I don't want to use intuition points, but I, I don't want to get this one wrong. Because she didn't 100%... She don't one hundred percent freaking gave us a clear answer. Okay, so we can actually careful uh, use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs in, in interviews and interrogations. Seventy eight percent of players choose the correct answers after using. All right, I'm just gonna. I don't want to fuck anything else up. All right, so good cop. See, I felt like. Like, I feel like she was saying the, the right answer, but she's also, like, looking around and stuff like that. So. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment. I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Hmm. Evidence of criminal abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. I don't know, like, I don't want to freaking... I, I don't want to force her. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? Got it. No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Good. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. 
if you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. Or Jessica. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Well, then uh, keep getting our RAPED, if that's what you want. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Oh. There she goes. Come on. Tell the suspect from a safe distance the suspect is marked in red. The icon will flash if you're tailing too close. Okay. Ballard is definitely up to something. I like the music that they play. Really nice music. Easy, Cole. Better back it off. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Huh. Okay, we gotta keep tailing them. Don't wanna get too close. I almost messed everything up there for us. Okay, is that them on the right? Yeah, they just made a right. Alright, perfect. They made a left. Holy crap. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means <laughs> helps. Sorry. I'll stay back here. I think they're pulling over. Yep, they're pulling over. The drugs, health is wealth. She doesn't even seem injured anymore. She's just like. Get in there and see what she's up to. Press R1 to take cover at the door. <laughs> this is creepy. Enter the cafe. Oh, incognito. Let's go. I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. She's trying to get him killed. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. 803. Interesting. Okay. Gotta be careful, I'm gonna let her leave. Investigate Bishop's apartment. All right. Well, now we got the address. Should definitely head over there. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or you've done the job. For real. <laughs> McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at it. Oh, God. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I left. I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. She did. That June Ballard really did sell her out well, for Ballard real. Ballard was doing someone a favor. Why did they try to kill her? Man. This is getting crazy. I feel like Ballard is just as guilty as 
this bishop guy. She was kind of flirting with us in a little, in a way. Huh. She was up. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. She was flirting with us to kind of like persuade us not to interrogate her in a way. There we go. Right here. Right turn, coming up. All right, perfect. Straight Going on. straight. Oh, this is going to be interesting, guys. This is a cool case. Keep going straight. It's pretty far, too. This is the one that would have been perfect for fast travel. Make a left right here. Make a right here. Perfect. Bishop's apartment, 1008. Well, we're in a rush. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Really? Last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Last door on the right, which is 803. Well, that's not 803. No, what are you what are you doing, sir? It's this one, 803. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs. Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Jesus. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Oh, well, this is a lot of clues that we're gonna have to go through. Okay. Some of these Incidental. things... Some of these things may not even be relevant to the case, but uh, we're gonna have to start investigating. Let's see what do we got around here. New Testaments. Irrelevant to the case. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Okay. About inside the room. Should we go inside the room? I'm stumped. Ideas? Take a look around. You never know what those goons might have left behind. Hmm. Twenty thousand dollar check. Twenty thousand dollars. What does it say? Look, something Hollywood. Jesus. Twenty thousand dollars. Back in the days, that was a lot of money. Great Intolerance. Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Love struggle throughout the ages. The Great Wall of Babylon. Hmm. Looks like the old movie set downtown. I'm not sure how this is exactly a clue at the moment, but I guess we'll figure it out. Five dollars. This guy's just has money laying around like, come on, man. I'm about to jack these five butts. Nope. <laughs> One Akos. I don't think this is anything. Yeah, irrelevant to the case, of course. This is a picture of Looks Bishop. Like found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. We might have to go interrogate this man. 
Gay Cowboys to Mark Bishop. Presented to Mark. Silver Screen Pop Saddle. Wait, Gay Cowboys to Mark Bishop with thanks from Silver Screen Props. All right, that's it for all the clues. And the Gay Cowboys poster is back over here at the entrance because I seen it. That's the one right there. All right, domestic disturbance. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No, why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Can we get on with this, please? Okay, fine. Okay, bad cop then. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Hmm. The whereabouts of Bishop. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. That seems to be truthful. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Hopgood. Okay, so we might have to go to that guy. So, guys, so check for $20,000. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Hmm. Okay, abuse of Jessica Your Hansen. husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Huh. I don't know, sweetheart. Uh, I don't know. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Wow. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Holy cow. What the hell is going on here, man? <laughs> this game is crazy. He likes some young. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. 
Investigate the silver screen props, silver screen props, location found. By the way, I'm going to go here and go to outfits. And I know you guys want me to change the uh, the outfit here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's put this one on. Very nice. Enough of the golden boy for now. Take the elevator. I like that. I just... Change clothes. Movie star, a wannabe starlet, movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, we're going to try the fast travel on this one. See if it works out. Let's see. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Okay, so corner third and Figueroa. Let's see. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah, you'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. This is where it's at. The mermaid. 10.42 a.m. All right. Nice little bear there. Hey, uh, how you doing, big bear? Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Interesting. Damn, look at all this crap, huh? Bunch of props. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a look around here. Where's that casting couch, huh? Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Holy cow. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep tent. Interesting. here and keep our pervert company. The fuck? Okay, nothing to do with our investigation, thankfully. Oh! Oh! Won't you look at this? These seem to be the pills you gave that poor little chloro- a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? This might be the other room. Interesting. See if we find any other clues. That way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Hold on, man. Just making sure I get all the clues intact. Here it is, you stinking bastard. Okay, I'm gonna go out through here. See if we can find anything over here. These sneaky bastards. <laughs> what? That is crazy. Okay, this is just a beer bottle. Holy crap. 
Secret camera room. Bishop pictures. Jungle drums. Mark Bishop. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. What about the other? Uh, this is pro probably relevant. What the heck? This is getting a little wild. Jessica Hamilton. Okay, no need for that. This is the tape. Dude, what the fucking crap? So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Were they filming an adult, uh, adult, adult film or something? Let me just check in here. These are all the girls that have been here, obviously. What the hell? Bro, what is going on here? This is creepy. There's a door there. Guess how do we... No, 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 no. Seemed like there was a door next to that toilet. Okay, here we go. This is actually leading to the other room. Oh, look at the prop. So this is where you sprang from. Yes, it is indeed. Look at the other one right here. Literally identical. Okay, we've got a newspaper here. Dope flood streets. Cops traces war surplus contraband. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler? Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh yeah, he's a putz, and he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're gonna be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and- Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes, great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Wow. There's literally nothing else playing. Association with Bishop. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah. When Bishop was doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. 
Haven't seen him around here in a while. He was here yesterday, and something happened that pushed him over the edge. You're holding out on us, Hopgood. You know, I have very good connections with the Vice Squad. And well, there's a surprise. They won't appreciate you coming in here and strong-arming me. Really, dude? Oh, I think we're supposed to accuse him. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. Oh, yeah? You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Damn. <laughs> God damn. I don't think you oh. like your little pep talk, Mikowski. Oh, shit. Get us out of here. Oh! 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 I can't take a shot from here, Cole. They really don't want anybody getting the bishop before they do. There we go. Hit them tires. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Make a move. We're sitting here. Shit. Shoot the tires. There we go. Done now, Need bucko. Closer, Cole. Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Mikowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Wow. Holy cow. Every single case just gets crazier and crazier. Jungle drums set.
There's the slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Oh my god. Catch on to him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're trying to help you, Bishop. <laughs> are we ever gonna see exactly like are we gonna see him come clean and and see what what he did to the girl and why he did it and what's up with the other broad and stick and liar? I mean she's kind of guilty it's herself too. Cappy's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. God damn, this just got the hops. <laughs> oh god, we're going all the way up, boys. Oh, he kicked me in the face. Where'd he go? Bishop, that's enough. He's not gonna jump off of this. Yo, 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 this is wild. Bro, we are really up here Don't right now. Don't make this now. any harder on yourself, Bishop. He's saying that Ballard made it up? Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Yo, what? Hey, get Bishop off the lot alive. Me. Last chance to back the hell down. Oh, shit. Okay. Sit down, sir. This way. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Kill them for God's sake. I don't want to die. Well, why can't I run, dude? Jesus, it wasn't letting me run. LAPD. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. What? Is that really the best McAfee's got? Woo! Oh, this is crazy. Oh. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> you want another one, punk? They're everywhere. All right, I'm gonna need you to make a move for it now, sir. Come on, move along. I will shoot your ass. You understand me? Okay, we got this guy up here. Perfect. We got this guy down here. Just got you there. There's a ladder leading this. Is this really the best McAfee's got? Oh. God damn. Look at this drop. Look at our partner down there doing Come absolutely on, nothing. You. Come on, the cavalry's here. Okay, I, I spoke a little too soon. We're dealing with real gangsters here, guys. This is this is a little crazy. Oh! Those barrels at the base of the element column. They're full of gasoline. Shoot them quickly! Oh! Well, that was 
quite the show. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Are we really protecting a molester right now? Like. He got Tommy guns too. Knocked off his hat. <laughs> Perfect. Pick up that gun. Tommy gun, hell yeah. This is all balanced, Paul. Get him to the car. I can cover you from here. You're almost there. Those are the cops. Weapons on the ground now. Come on, boys. Perfect. Whew. That was that was probably now the most action we've had what yet. I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. What? What about our partner? Man, we're gonna, I'm gonna miss him. I don't like this guy. I'm saying it right now. It's from the vice department, I believe, but I don't like him. Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? It's the guy from the newspaper. Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. 
How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. Jesus Christ, bro. So what about that drink, boys? Wow. We're getting into some crazy, crazy shit. Promoted homicide desk. Reaching the apartment earlier would have uh, meant a chance to give McAfee's goons what for. Really? Okay. Traffic complete. Your actions have earned your promotion. Prepare for assignments. All right, so guys, we're going to end it here. Case has been closed. I hope you enjoyed today's case. And if you want more, please be sure to leave it a like rating. And hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one.